And we continue on to our next performer, ladies and gentlemen. Would you please put your hands together for Kirsten Manning. Kirsten is going to be performing a little Melissa Etheridge. Bring me some water. I am thirsty. That was bad, wasn't it? <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> All right, back to some rock. Be so weak. All in love is fair. I turn the other cheek, and I feel the slap and the sting of the foul night air. And I know you're only human, and I haven't got talking moon. But tonight, while I'm making excuses, some other one is making love to you. Somebody bring me some water Can't you see I'm burning alive? Can't you see my babies got another lover? I don't know how I'm gonna survive Somebody bring me some water Can't you see it's out of control? This baby's got my heart and my baby's got my mind But tonight the sweet devil, the sweet Second pass, and will this night be through? I wanna hear the breaking glass. I only feel the steel of the red hot truth, and I'd do anything to get it out of my mind. I need some insanity of that temporary kind. Tell me how will I ever be the same when I know that that woman is whispering your name? Somebody bring me some water Can't you see I'm burning alive? Can't you see my babies got another lover? And I don't know how I'm gonna survive Somebody bring me some water Can't you see it's out of control? This baby's got my heart and my baby's got my mind But tonight the sweet devil, the sweet devil Ladies and gentlemen, and somebody bring her some water quick. Good job. Thank you so much, Kirsten. Just hold on a sec there. Okay. So you have really strong pipes. Very, very strong. Um, you have amazing pipes. And I think what I'm noticing is when it was really beautiful to hear you uh, start off the song in your low register. You had really beautiful tone there. I didn't, we didn't hear that much from Like a Prayer. And uh, what I noticed in this one and that one, uh, you have such a powerful voice that sometimes I think when you start singing really high, you go a little 
uh, sharp because it's almost like there's so much energy coming out, it's like a hose, and you let the hose go like a fi You know how you have those fireman hoses and you let go of it and the person goes flying backwards? <laughs> Your voice, really, it's very powerful and it's so powerful. It comes out, but it just, it almost like it's, you're just not getting enough control in your belts and then they're, they're going sharp. They're just going a little higher, you know, than, than that has to. But um, you have fantastic energy and, um, let me see, hold on. You're extremely engaging with us. We, we feel very involved with your performance, which is really great. And one thing I, I, I want to say that's very constructive is in the first song, I noticed you started off very strong, and then I almost felt like you were judging yourself near the end. Kind of like you're, you're thinking, oh, you know, or maybe noticing, like, did I sing that right? Or do you know what I mean? So, but you're, you're again, like a very, very powerful performer. And I think it's, it's just like kind of like reining in. And you know, you probably have more technical tips to give her with that. So, yeah. um, do you want to say Deborah? Go oh, ahead. I just. <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse me, ladies. Okay. Just, I'll just leave now. Anyway, <laughs> um, Kristen, you're adorable. You're great. What a difference. Your second performance from your first performance. Your first oh. performance, I agree with Bonnie, you started off really strong. And not even halfway through the song, you started to peter out in your voice, you started to get flat. And it's almost like I could feel a struggle from you. This song was effortless. Um, in fact, you walked on stage and I turned around to Bonnie and I said, you watch, she's going to be awesome. Yeah. Because I felt you, you had already owned it when you walked on the stage. I hadn't even opened your mouth yet and the song hadn't started. And I knew you were going to sing it well because you had that attitude and the confidence. Um, when you're going from your lows, your gorgeous lows, and you're going up into your highs. Now, Angela, I'm sure will go into this a lot more <laughs> and she'll be up there to show you as well but um what um <laughs> I'm just gonna order another tea here but anyway um you have to watch that because you tend to go yes you're going sharp you're also going flat and your last note you're very pitchy the very last note which is so important that last note that anyone sings in any song your last note should be on and strong because that's your last note. And right here, you were flat. So you had this great performance and that beautiful last note. Unfortunately, you held it. The breath was there. It was flat. So that's about it. Other than that, you're awesome. And now it's for Andrew. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> OK, she said, no, I won't do a quick technical thing. I'm going to do a quick technical thing with you. You are adorable. You've got great stage presence. But nobody wants to hear a pitchy singer. I'm going to be the Sa Simon Cowell a little bit here. Because I'm going to kick your ass because you're going to be a better singer after this, okay? Because you got, you got it, the goods to be it. But here's, as all singers, you need awareness of, the, of two things that are the most important thing. That's breathing and diaphragm support. I was trying to figure out why you're pitchy. And it could be one of two things. You're, you're not connected to your diaphragm support and all those big vocal notes are pushed from your throat. Or you're breathing backwards, which means you're breathing, but instead of air in, tummy out, you're going air in, tummy in, which gives you no place to pull to your backbone to get those big notes out with good pitch. So I would really think, pay attention to what your body's doing when you're singing. The singer's breath is, it's like a yoga breath, air in, tummy out from the belly button up, that's your power. That's how you pull to the backbone in varying degrees to get that, that good pitch and power. So if you're breathing in and your tummy's coming in, that's your problem, okay? Or if you're not pulling at all to your backbone, that's your problem. So give yourself a little checklist to see because I think once you make the connection, you're just going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Put your hands together for Kirsten Manning. Well, then, Kirsten, thank you very much.